81. It was actually over one break. I received a phone call from Coach Hawk. He asked me, do you want to change your number? And I'm like, wait, like, what number am I going to wear, like, other than five? Because you were five, Coach Hawk. So he asked me, like, yeah, to wear number one. And I was like, oh, I thought that number was done. I was very surprised from it. And I actually wore one in high school, so I was kind of excited about it. And I, I just took that opportunity. Is it fourth and ball game? Here's the snap to Smoker. Eludes one man, throws to the end zone. Charles Rogers with the catch. Touchdown, MSU! He caught it on the back line of the end zone. He's a legend here, so I mean, it'll be hard to live up to, but I'm gonna try my best. It's definitely an honor. Also, Coach Tuck wanted to give it to someone that he felt represented a Spartan football player. I'm a hard worker, I'm very coachable, and I wanna win. I was born on the south side of Chicago, mostly raised on the west side of Chicago. I wouldn't say it was the best place to live, but it was a good experience for me. And uh, I think it matured me at a very early age. It was tough, it's a lot of poverty, gang violence. Honestly, heard gunshots every day. Sad to say, it became normal. Like I'll be sitting on the porch, hear a gunshot, and it's just like, you look around and it's like, oh, somebody's shooting. Like it's, it's not even like people scatter, unless it's like in your face, but I've seen, I've seen so much. I've seen people, I've seen people shoot. I've seen it with my, my eyes, I've seen brawls like fights, but I try my best to stay away from that as well as the people around me. They tried their best to keep me away from that. So they seen potential in me and they um, they pushed me away from that stuff. Not that they had to, but I'm glad that they did. They kept me on the right path. Jaden have lost a lot of friends starting at a young age, um, a lot of teammates at a young age. Going through that, losing teammates throughout the years, he wanted to stay away from it. We took it upon ourselves to make sure he was doing something constructive. So that means getting him out of the neighborhood to play travel basketball or travel football. That kept him out of a lot of trouble. My mom started off doing hair. She was a hairstylist. She does my hair. My dad had a very huge impact on me playing football. He was at every game. He got me up when I didn't want to go. He pushed me. He told me the things I needed to do to get better. He was just very motivational. I started off playing Pop Warner football for a team called Chicago Jokers. First game ever, I had six touchdowns. It was kind of weird, so I didn't think I was really a football player, but obviously I had some potential to play. I like that it was like very competitive. I'm already like a team person, so like I like that. I had a group of guys that I can bond with. I played with Peyton Thorne since I was about in sixth grade. We played Pop Warner football. Kay McDonald as well, he's a receiver. I went to high school with Kay at Naperville Central High School. Those are my guys, those are my brothers. I've been around them for a very long time. They brought me in as soon as I came in and um, they showed nothing but love. And I love those guys, those are my brothers. I still remember the first day that I physically saw him in person. We were mid-practice. Our team was the Naperville Chargers, and he came with his dad and his brother. And everyone just kind of looked over and was wondering who it was over there. And, and then the next day, he hopped in and practiced with us, and we knew right away that this guy was going to help us out. On the back of his jersey, they put Bird, which is his nickname. That's what I call him, for, I think, a game or two before they finally changed it to his actual name. It was his freshman year. Jaden wanted to quit football, and his dad told him, no way. Because his father didn't have his father in his life at a young age, it was his personal goal to be the opposite uh, for all his children, to be a factor and actually be active in all his children's life. So that drove him to be different. My dad, he passed away when I was 15 years old. He was a great guy, taught me everything I know. I had a birthday party at one of my friend's house. I decided to sleep at my friend's place. And right before my dad left, he asked me, he was like, you sure you wanna stay here? I was like, yeah, like I'm, I'm gonna stay here and enjoy his birthday. 
He told me he loved me. He gave me a big hug. I don't remember what time it was, but the next morning, uh, his dad woke me up. And uh, he told me he, that he needed to take me to the hospital. Something went wrong. So I knew my dad was sick. He was on dialysis and stuff like that. So it wasn't a good feeling. Um, hospital was about five minutes away. Um, I get inside the hospital. It's my, my grandmother, both my aunts and my brother. Um, <sighs> my brother never hugged me in his life. Um, he ran up to me. He gave me a hug. It's tough, I'm sorry. Apologize. After that, basically, um, um, I obviously seen my whole family crying. They asked me, did I want to go to the back to, to see them? And obviously I said yes. I went through the door and I just took a peek through the door, seeing foam coming out the mouth and I couldn't go in. I turned around, I ran away. And eventually I came back, held his hand one more time before I said goodbye. He was going through dialysis, so it was end stage kidney failure and connection with heart failure. He was on the waiting list for a kidney. He was doing his treatment, he was doing well. So there was no sign that we would be losing him. After he passed, I kind of gave up on a lot. I didn't want to play football anymore. I didn't want to do school. I didn't want to do anything, honestly. It was people around me that loved and cared for me, so that's really what got me through it. Teachers, my family, first and foremost. I have faith in God. That really helped me stay the course. That drove him. He knew that his dad would want him to keep going. That drove me even more as well to push him. My goal once he passed was to kind of make the life as normal as possible. I made sure that football didn't stop. I made sure that he was able to participate because that's what his dad would have done. The help and everything that I had, I knew I can make it happen. Like I had no doubt in my mind. I've been dreaming about this for too long, so I put everything I had into it. I started getting recruited, I think my junior year, my first offer was Central Michigan, and then I got offered by Western, Toledo, and Miami of Ohio. Those are only four schools that offered me coming out of high school. It was hard. Use my profanity. I had to work my ass off, and that's what it was. I, I paid attention to detail. I was coachable. I did what the coaches wanted, and it all fell in place for me. I started off fourth on the depth chart, and by game one, I was a starter. I loved the people there, the coaches, everything. Like, it was great, but I wanted to live out my dream. I hit the portal, got recruited by Big Ten schools, but I just felt like this was the best fit for me. I had people here that I know and I love and I care for. I felt that I'll feel at home. It's not too far from home. I want to be able to go back and support my mom and my family. That definitely played a huge role. And I just felt at home. I felt wanted here. That is why I came here. And I want to thank Coach D'Antonio for that, for giving me the opportunity to be here today. This is one of my dreams, playing in an environment like this. It was just an experience that I really wanted. Things just fell in place when you work with God and you follow the plan. Oh, Lombardi he's a connects oh, boy, to that's, Reed. That's gonna be Here six. comes Reed. Reed with the big gain, and he's in for the Michigan State touchdown. The first score of the Mel Tucker era goes 50 yards. If you watch Jaden, every time he walks on that field, it is a dedication to his dad. I have no doubt in my mind if his dad was here right now that he wouldn't be absolutely proud of Jaden, of everything that he has accomplished. I had my children at a young age and they were my motivation to make sure that they'll be able to have the life that they choose to have. We set high expectation for them. Jaden, he always knew what he wanted and he always went after it. It's time to work. 
It's time to work. He wants to do good. He wants to make a good impression. He wants to be able to give back. He wants to be able to be a good teammate. He wants to be able to say, I came from this neighborhood and I made it here and you can do this too. I just want to bring joy to everybody because I know some people are down sometimes, including myself. And um, I just hope that everyone uh, realize that there are good people out there. I'm just blessed. Not lucky, I'm blessed. Every time I run out the tunnel, I think about my dad. I just wish he could be here to see it, and I want to see him see it. I think about him every day. But it definitely pushed me to go harder, and, and it makes me want to achieve my goals for him. That's good views for real. That's good views for real. Hey, you heard me. Grand Haven, baby. Grand Haven. You know, we just out here playing a little board game, you know, football. A little feedback action, you know. Hey, Keith, you can't be bad. So we at Lake Michigan right now, a little team bonding and just trying to get a team interaction going on. You feel me? We just we just trying to get some team bonding in before before stuff go, hey, get stuff get real. You heard? I got us. Bang! We call that cornhole. Bang! Don't get scared now. Don't, don't, <laughs> hey, hey, don't get scared. Don't, don't run from me. Don't run from me now. Yo, Jebo. I got us, Max. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's hey, me. Hey, don't worry about it. I got to hit something. I hit. 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 You know, pressure hit. Scary Terry. Scary Terry. Yes. Ah. Ah. I don't know what we got next when they get in the water, have a little fun with the guy. It's a water time, baby. We out here in the ocean. I'm playing, we in the lake. <laughs> we in the lake. We in the lake, vibing. Vibing, look at OG right there. Gangsta! It's a little Spartan dog vacation, man. A little beach trip, a little tubing, a little fun time with the guys. It's about to get crazy. Hey, 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 bro. Yeah, I got real straight. <laughs> real forearm straight. I'm locked in. Don't kill me, I'm not locked in. I'm not locked in. Beautiful day out here. I'm like Michigan. Great day for some fun. Great day to have a great day. Recap, we're going fast, a lot of movements, he fell off twice, no, uh, pressure it, stayed on strong. Pressure. The GoPro fell off the second time, yeah. so I decided to jump. Yeah, he sacrificed himself. I found himself. myself mid balance and I was like, I might as well just turn in for Spartan, the water. Spartan so fans, he, he, he <laughs> sacrificed himself for y'all. I turned and I dove in. We, we agreed. <laughs> we are Aquaman. We bleed green till we die. 
I can, I can give me a little putt putty. I have to do more, huh? <laughs> what a look, you got a green plan. I see it's a large slope up there. Yes, sir. They call me Tiger Hood. What are talking about, man? They call me Tiger Hood. Oh, no way. Yeah, he talking about I ain't gonna fit the go kart. <laughs> they gonna make it work. Let's show you how it's really done. Okay. What are you talking about? It's still going. It's still going. It's still. Oh, what? He just missed that. Three putt. Off that rock. Over the. You feel me? Get in there. Hello again, everybody. The Spartans on the road in steamy South Florida against the nationally ranked Miami Hurricanes. A chance to make a statement. And there are hundreds, probably thousands, of Michigan State fans here hoping to uh, come home with a big-time victory that will turn some heads around the nation. The Spartans have played extremely well in their first two games. People talking about Kenneth Walker. But if you look at the other numbers, things are going just fine. Thank you. Miami's trying to live up to big expectations. They want to get the offense going today. I look forward to Michigan State being able to affect the Eric King, the quarterback from Miami, who is a very, very capable quarterback and can use his legs and arm to beat you. This is just the fifth time in the long history of these schools that Miami and Michigan State have met up. First time since 89. Michigan State won the toss. They elect to defer. This looks like the Miami offense that's finding its rhythm. King. Fumbles the ball. Ball is still loose and on the ground. It is recovered by the Spartans. This will be a turnover. The Spartans pop the ball loose from the Eric King. Four-man rush against King. And they get to him. Flag comes down as he was taken down by Drew Beasley. This team is way ahead of where I think most people thought they'd be. Peyton Thorne takes the snap. Hands to Kenneth Walker. Has some running room left side. Ooh. Kenneth Walker at the 10. Pulls over a would-be tackler. Barringer will hold high snap. He'll get it down, though. And the kick is up. And it splits the uprights. Ninth play of the drive. Tempo has worked. Snap back to King. Runs to his right. Throws oh, back wow. over the middle. In the back of the end zone, it's Charleston Rambo. Walker on second and ten. Walker gets to the edge. The biggest thing from him is his feel and his vision and patience as he attacks the hole. Jaden Reed to the right. The throw goes left oh, side Naylor, for Naylor. Go. And Speedy Naylor gets outside on the Hurricanes. Jalen Naylor down to the five. Third and goal. Walker into the end zone. Kenneth Walker doing it all. He did it all. Every which way. Running the ball and now a six-yard touchdown catch. Wonderful drive for Michigan State's offense. Now there was a phrase that we used before we kicked off today. And that is a program that's ahead of schedule. King on first down. King wants more than just the hitch, but it is picked off. Sensational stop by Sparty. Interception by Angelo Gross. 8-19 to play third quarter at Miami. Over the middle, Connor Hayward. He's got running room. He's into Miami territory. Spartans at the Miami 11-yard line. 
Rolls to his right, throws it over the right shoulder of Speedy Naylor. He's into the end zone! Touchdown, MSU! They stay consistent. They stay the course. That's what we've seen from Michigan State this year. A lot of people looking around and saying, boy, have they changed things quickly. So got to have a kind of drive for Miami. The Eric King's the line of scrimmage on third down. Lines up, throws oh, into the end zone. Bang. That's a touchdown for the Kings. It's a big day for Rambo. Flag is down at the one-yard line as Rambo's all celebrating. It's Miami sensing just a bit of momentum as we start the fourth quarter. They trail by three at home to the Spartans team. King on first down, live ball out there, bouncing around, and the Spartans have it. It was Beasley crashing home on King. Great awareness by Panachute. What a turn here early in the fourth quarter. Michigan State sitting there on the Miami 16-yard line, third and seven. Sack fumble, third down a couple plays later, touchdown. Just huge. 24-17 lead. This is a no-quit football team. What will they come up with on third and six? Third and six, going to tuck, run, get it with ease. Look at Peyton Thorne pass midfield. Big play for Michigan State. Knows what needs to be done. He takes the snap, winds up and throws toward the end zone. He's got a man open. It's caught. Jalen Naylor, touchdown, MSU! Wow! Four touchdown passes for Peyton Thorpe. And instead of running down the clock, instead of grinding towards a win, Greg, this is how you get upsets on the road. You go for the jugular. With just over four minutes to play, King. That is picked off every which way. It's Spartans, and Ronald Williams jumps it. Interception, Michigan State. This got sideways in a hurry. Let's go! Here's Reed looking for a block in front, getting to the edge, getting to the goal line, and now the Spartans are just pouring it on. When the new rankings come out, you're going to see a number next to Michigan State. This team can beat you in a lot of different ways. And it's been very impressive to watch them through three weeks. And this game is over. The Spartans get a big-time victory here in Miami over the Hurricanes. Michigan State 38, Miami 17 here at Hard Rock Stadium. We expected to come in here and win. We expected to come in here and win. We played complimentary football. Okay, we took care of the ball. Yeah, we were, I think we were plus four in the turnover margin. Yeah. 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 Got 24-hour rule, yeah. and we back to work. Yeah. 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 Yeah.